it's time. Oh yeah, it's time. It's time to start thinking about ice fishing. Because it's here. The monster is here. Now, I know what you're thinking. Or maybe it's just my wife thinking. You're thinking, didn't you just last year get the new Jason Mitchell Thermal X clam two person flip over shack completely customize it add in a floor the deck the carpet all the storage boxes the electrical the lights everything yes yes i did and then i sold it and the entire reason the sole reason for the change was size i needed space more space the uh the thermal x was awesome it really was great the upgrades were awesome too made it a lot more comfortable but i wanted a little more size and that is where we found the otter monster now we didn't get away from clam just to get away from clam i've still got the kenai pro it's up there in the storage rack um i've still got that so clam otter still don't care but clam didn't have one this size this thing is about nine feet wide by about 14 feet long and that is a lot of space it's 112 square feet of fishing area so i started looking around couldn't really find any otter vortex videos not a whole lot out there this could very well be one of the first ones um, with the brand new system i did see clayton schick have a video last year he went out stayed overnight walleye fishing and basically this one it just wasn't the vortex it was the blue one whatever that is but it was the monster lodge as well very similar but it just got here and we're gonna unbox it so we're gonna unbox it see how long it takes to set up see how much room there is what it's gonna be like how we can customize it because you bet we are gonna customize it but uh i'm looking forward to it the weather's starting to change it is now fall and yeah we're still a long way from ice but it's never too soon to start getting ready so let's get this thing out of the box let's see what we're gonna be working with this year unbox <laughs> that was easy enough uh before i unpack it i'm gonna check it against my sled here i went out and i picked up an otter sport sled um looking at the otter pro sled it's got a little bit more height to it but was also twice the cost so i'm gonna see how well this fits in here it should be a little bit long which is okay uh, but that should give me some room to put in auger rod case everything else Ta -da! my only concern is still the height i think the uh the pro sled's a little bit taller so i may end up taking this one back and getting the pro sled it's a nice heavy bag i like that <clears throat> First run, what do we need? Well, we need to unstrap it. Where's that happen at? Right there. <laughs> oh. That's substantial. That is some size. Make some room. All right, this part here has got to go this way. Come here, buddy. And I took out the pan. Oh, 
One. Two. Nice heavy zippers. This is probably where you guys aren't gonna see anything anymore until I get it up. Nice heavy pull straps. Alright guys, well it is the next day. It got a little dark last night to film, so I thought I'd show it to you guys. Today in the light, uh, she's big, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, it's exactly what I wanted though. So, Otter, this is the Vortex Monster Lodge, the new one, it seems like for 2020. Uh, but I wanted space, and that is what we got. Nice big curtain all the way around that way you can pile up that snow and make sure she's hunkered down there are i believe 12 anchor locations so with a big shack this size that is a lot of surface area out in the wind so we will definitely be making sure that we got this thing strapped down or she will be gone but this is the best part. There is just so much room. Activities and shenanigans are going to be had in this space. Two nice big doors on either side, which is great. Um, but I think my favorite part are the windows. So there are what? Two, four, six, eight windows, including two that are at the lower level. And I absolutely love those because when you're sitting down and fishing, you can actually kind of see through these as opposed to these ones up top. I'm even tall and seeing through the top one sometimes is hard. So I like these side windows and they are removable. So if it is nice outside, you can pop off a window and let some extra air in. I really like that feature too. Of course they have the covers, but I've got everything open right now so we can actually see in here. Um, up above, as far as height goes, and this is the one thing that I was really concerned about was height, but I've still got, there's a couple inches here for me uh, that I'll be good. Right in the middle, I do hit my head. I do hit my head in the middle, um, but this area here, right in the middle of the actual main cabin part of it, is really good. I was truthfully looking at between this shack and the giant clam hub. Um, I don't know if they call theirs the lodge. I think this is the lodge. So it must have been the resort. Uh, clam has one that is a hexagon and it is substantially sized as well. And it's taller. It's like 90 inches or something in the center. Um, not that you would stand in the center a whole lot, but it does have some additional height. And that was one of my main concerns as a tall person was, I wanted a good amount of height. I wanted to be like, feel like I could stand up and stretch around and walk around and I can do that for the most part in here. Um, I can definitely move around. Standing up once we get into some snow and we kind of sink in a little bit, might be a little bit more of an issue. This might feel closer in the snow than it does right now, but I think I'm okay with it um, with the amount of room that I can just walk around. So in that hexagon one and the reason i didn't go with the clam resort was there was only around 90 square feet or so of fishable area which doesn't sound like a major difference this one has 112 but i think the layout is going to be much nicer in here because just like i mentioned earlier in clayton schick's video where i first saw this shack um he essentially had this half so he had this entire area set up as like his living quarters. So I believe 
that is probably what I'm gonna do too, is I'm probably gonna build a floor or have that rubber matting floor in here. And then I can put a cot. I can lay in here at 6364. I can lay across here and be fine. I can have a table for food and batteries and camera equipment to charge and stuff like that. And then we will still have this entire area on the opposite side to fish and set everything up. Um, and so when I'm alone or going by myself and I'm planning on sleeping overnight, which I am planning to do more this year. Um, and so we'll have some overnight videos is that's, that's how I'm going to set it up so I can have a place to sleep. So along with the, uh, overhead cargo netting, like I said, there are two of those, um, each spot or location. So essentially having four to six people in here, I think it actually says six to eight, which might be a little bit tight, but if you can imagine punching a bunch of holes in the center, you could easily have, you know, six people in here very, very easily. Um, each person has a pretty heavy duty. This is a heavy material um, for a storage bag. And it's got a nice heavy mesh on there too and two little rod holders. So there's four of those. So we've got four bags and eight rod holders, which is great. But again, I, I think these windows are still my favorite thing about it. Just having some side windows. Fabric on this one compared to the Jason Mitchell that I had last year. This is a 600 denier fabric as opposed to a 900. I personally would rather be a little bit colder than too hot. And I was constantly too hot in that Jason Mitchell. That 900 denier fabric, I was always cooking. I would fish in shorts and a t-shirt. Um, in fact, I even got rid of my big buddy heater and went to the small one, the smaller buddy heater, um, just because it was too warm in there and it was too hard to control the amount of heat sometimes. So I think uh, the 600 denier, it is something that I looked at and went, do I want to go down to 600 from 900? But honestly, I think it's gonna be just fine, especially with having a heater in here. Uh, there are two propane line ports. So you have one on either side so you can put your propane tank on the outside and run your uh, line into the shack to your heater, uh, which is nice too. I'd rather have that propane tank outside, I think. So I feel like I just keep walking to, from one end to the other just because it's like a, it's a giant tent. Like there's so much room. So here's what I need from you guys. Ideas. I need lighting. Lighting is going to be a big thing for me. So we're going to need some lights. The uh, otter lights that I think clip onto these, these are those uh, 11 mil uh, tent poles. So these are real heavy duty tent poles. I like that. Um, one of the reasons I didn't like my original pop-up shelter, even though it was a cheap one, I knew it was a cheap one. Those poles were, were terrible. Um, these feel much nicer, much more sturdy. Uh, but I need some lighting. The otter ones that go on here, you get like two lights for like 70 bucks. So just to get four lights in each one, we're talking almost $300. So I need to get figure out some lighting. Uh, we'll definitely be running some electrical, I think. Again, it's gonna be rather mobile for me. So I don't think, I think I want things that I can clip on and take off rather easily is what I'm gonna be looking at. And then the sled. If you guys have had an otter sled, I have the sport sled. Is it worth going to the pro sled? That's the other thing I'm kind of looking at right now. Um, on top of, you know, some fun new things for this ice fishing season too. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. This is the new Otter Vortex Monster Lodge Otter Outdoors. Absolutely loving it so far. Can't wait to get it on the ice. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.